Good evening, sir. Thank you for your time. I'm just wondering, what did you achieve today with your blockade, apart from traffic chaos? Well, good evening, and uh, thanks for, for having me. Uh, we, we came to realize uh, sometime today that, uh, you know, amongst uh, many other people that were with us, we also had uh, intruders. Uh, this is after a uh, police officer had apprehended uh, one such a person, and uh, that's when we realized that indeed this is a work. Uh, this is a work of uh, vagabond because it is not uh, NTA policy, and this is not what we had also agreed uh, when the uh, masses had given uh, uh, the uh, national leadership the mandate to lead them to uh, the office of the Minister of Transport and the Department of Transport and also to the presidency to go and deliver memorandums contain, uh, I mean, containing uh, their grievances. So it, is, it, it was not uh, out of our making. Clearly, it is a work of uh, some people that are disgruntled. Obviously, uh, we suspect that it may very well be the opposition, uh, after having noted that uh, the NTA is about to show its, uh, its muscle. I'm because, so sorry, uh, it has been I just need that, to uh, interrupt you because I just need some clarity. When you say it wasn't your doing, are you talking about the few incidents of violence or are you talking about the many taxis that simply blocked the routes? I'm so sorry, you've broken up. Just let's uh, try that sentence again. Now, the text that had blocked the road and authorities uh, should have stepped in and ensured that uh, this. Ma I'm so sorry, Hello, I can't. I'm, I'm really battling to hear you. Was the blockade the work of the NTA? I, I, I am explaining that uh, because this march was granted by the city of Johannesburg and even security clusters were present uh, at the meeting. So we were under the impression that uh, we would together manage the whole processes. And also that where there was, uh, you know, lawlessness, law enforcement authorities would step in and ensure that uh, there is uh, maintenance of uh, law and order. Okay, I'm just not clear still. Was the, the, the many taxis we saw literally parked in the road, that was your decision to do or not? It was not our decision as leadership. This is a decision out of uh, unruly uh, elements uh, probably within the organization for which we are saying uh, the law enforcement uh, agencies should have stepped in. I mean, really, when we plan this uh, with uh, lawmakers, uh, I mean, law, law enforcement uh, agencies, we, we, we made it clear, abundantly clear that this is a protest march, and this is how we are going to uh, carry ourselves and uh, how we would we be identified. You would have noticed that uh, our members had worn, uh, you know, branded uh, regalia. Well, I must say, if there were uh, unruly elements Really, uh, law enforcement uh, agencies also failed us uh, partially. They should have actually brought these uh, couples to book. So are you saying that other taxi organizations organized that blockade of many hundreds of taxis to make you look bad? I am saying that most of the taxis that were there uh, were under our members. But I'm saying those that were unruly, may very well be our members who actually stepped out of line and all that that was needed is for them to be nicked in the back so that uh, they can actually feel the might of the law that's what i'm saying okay so the blockade stopping the taxis to block the route that was your members i concede Okay. All right. So now my understanding is that there's two issues you're unhappy with. You're laying it firmly at the door of the transport minister. First of all, it's recognition. You want to be recognized. And secondly, it's the issue of the 1.1 billion rand set aside for taxi support, which of course includes metered taxis as well. 1.1 billion rand is a lot of money. It's far more, for example, than the tourism industry was given, which I think was around 200 million rand. So what is the problem? Is it that the money is not coming through quickly enough? Is it that it's not enough money? Or is it that the money is going directly to taxi drivers and not through their associations? If you could uh, just uh, you know, uh, give me a clear indication. If you say 1.1, it's, uh, it's a lot of money, even uh, the tourism and what have you did not enjoy such. Well, what informs uh, that uh, idea? Uh, you know, what informs uh, that uh, inference? What informed the numbers I'm giving you? 
Yeah, what informs that statement that uh, this is a lot of money, uh, even the tourism uh, sector didn't uh, right. get such... By comparison, so if you look at uh, the 200 million rand given to the tourism industry, you compare that to the 1.1 billion rand offered to the taxi industry. 1.1 billion rand is a lot more money than 200 million rand. No, I think, I, no, 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 no. I think uh, your, comparison, no, no, your comparisons are, are way, way out of kilt. Look, the taxi industry ferries 70% of uh, the community masses. You're talking about the tourism, the tourism uh, uh, market, yes, caters for a wide uh, range of, uh, you know, uh, tourist attraction. So you, you, the, 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 these are not two, uh, you know, issues that you can begin to compare. But uh, having said that, let me then maybe clarify my side of the story. If you take the 1.135 billion and divide it by the number of taxes in the country, you would realize that this is just a pittance. Uh, because, you know, we're looking at about 250,000. So 1.135 billion uh, divided by... Uh, 250,000, you, you can do the arithmetic yourself. Yeah. But, uh, yes. About 3,500 um, rand each, isn't it? Yes. And then if you also then uh, factor in uh, an estimate of uh, how much we would have uh, 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 incurred as losses from level five up until level three, you'd realize that uh, that, that does not even uh, make 10% of what we have lost. You know, the minister was very clear that he could not, under any circumstances, offer the taxi industry a rand-for-rand rand payback for the losses in COVID. The horrible reality is COVID has affected the entire economy. There simply is not enough money to pay back for the many losses in the taxi industry. So okay. what are you hoping to achieve? Because government is saying there simply isn't enough money. Now, listen, much as I agree with you partially, uh, government should have been upfront with the taxi industry. They shouldn't have been uh, ambiguous uh, with their communication by saying, uh, at least ferry uh, passengers and, and we will get to it, but, uh, the, you know, the losses that you need. I see. So you, so you feel uh, we are losing your line, and I'm so sorry, I'm going to have to cut it there, but I think what you're saying is you feel uh, that the Transport Ministry has in some way gone back on their word. They relied on you during the lockdown, and they should be paying you more now. That was the NTA spokesperson, Theo Malele, speaking to us this evening. Still